Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. For those of you who have missed my skincare trials, we are back. We are in full swing. Well, mostly. Quite a few of you guys have asked me to test the brand Dr. Jart. And knowing the condition that my skin was in, where my dermatologist had me using ceramides to restore my moisture barrier, I figured Dr. Jart would probably be a pretty good brand to return to trialing. Now overall, this is going to be a smaller trial since I am just, you know, dipping my toes back into this. But something very interesting happened during this trial that I think a video needs to be made on. And that is a comparison between the classic CeraVe and Dr. Jart's Ceramidin. CeraVe is a very classic moisturizer. You get 16 ounces for around $15. Dr. Jart's Ceramidin is available at Sephora for $48 for 1.69 ounces. So there is a huge difference in price, but what about in terms of results? So let me start by doing this comparison and then we'll talk about the other Dr. Jart products. So Dr. Jart's recently reformulated Ceramidin Cream it contains five ceramides. It also contains Bifida Ferment Lysate, which you might recognize from Estee Lauder advanced night repair. It contains algae extract, turmeric, a very long list of extremely hydrating ingredients. And indeed, that is the claim with this product is that it is supposed to be fantastic for very, very dry skin. As for CeraVe, I'd say it's a pretty basic moisturizer, although it does contain three ceramides and hyaluronic acid, as does the Dr. Jart Ceramidin. But it's really just, you know, a simple moisturizer, not too many ingredients that you would need to be concerned about. The story of how I ended up doing a direct comparison of these two on my face goes a little something like this. I started using this product about two weeks ago, actually over two weeks ago, and I used it all over my face. I was shocked by the level of hydration this was delivering. Let me squeeze some out to show you. So very, very thick in texture cream, almost a little bit of a yellowish color to it. Once you massage it into the skin, it pretty much disappears. To contrast this to CeraVe, this is a more, a little bit more of a watery texture initially, but it actually is harder to buff into the skin. So I was kind of quite excited to leave behind CeraVe because I had been doing so much of this buffing and buffing into my skin, right? However, only a couple of days into using Ceramidin all over my skin, I felt like it might have been breaking me out just a little. Nothing severe, just a couple of whiteheads that weren't there before I started using it. So I started thinking about this and I realized the whiteheads were all where I do tend to break out, where I have my hormonal breakouts. So I figured, okay, maybe I'll continue to use the Ceramidin on my forehead, on my neck, where I get the most dry and switch over to CeraVe on this portion of my face where I do break out. You guys, this worked out so well for me. I've not had any more breakouts. I still need to treat the scars. So if you can see that, yeah, I haven't done any kind of peels or anything in a very long time, but this worked so well on my forehead and my neck. Again, you know, I've, I've talked before about how I get little lines there and they kind of irritate me. It's nothing terrible, but it's something I would like to not see. I'm just saying. This is some of the smoothest skin I've seen in a long time. It just feels so hydrated where I was using the Ceramidin. And while this is probably not the most hydrated skin that I've ever had, it's also clear. You know, one person's skincare review, first off, it's always very, very subjective. It's that person's experience. There could be other factors coming into this, including the fact that I did move and it was pretty stressful. Uh, so, you know, I'm not saying that everybody who uses this is going to break out, and in fairness, not a single breakout anywhere in the two weeks that I've used this on my neck and forehead. Granted, I very rarely get pimples there. But in all truth, I really did like this so much more than the CeraVe where I'm dry. So I think that ultimately what I conclude is that CeraVe is still a classic and recommended by dermatologists for a good reason, and that's that it's really not going to be problematic for the vast majority of people. I think really the only cons that I can come up with would be that it does contain parabens, which some people do want to avoid, and it may not be enough ingredients for everyone. But I'll tell you what, Ceramidin absolutely wins for the impact on dry skin. However, why was I breaking out? Is it because there are a couple of irritants in here, like bergamot, which I've gone back and forth on many times. It does contain vegetable oil, which I'm a little iffy on seeing in a very expensive product. 
So ultimately, what I think I would say is that if you have either sensitive skin or potentially certain types of acne, you may want to stick with CeraVe. If you have very, very dry skin and you don't have a lot of problems other than that, you may love Ceramidin. It really is incredibly high impact on dry skin. And if you're like me and you have kind of a mixture, eh, maybe both will be the best solution for you as well. All I can tell you is this was a really, really good combination for my skin. So I think the next product I'll go over is the Dr. Dart Ceramidin Toner. This is obviously a small sample, so I don't want to talk too much about my experience with it, but it does retail for $39 for 5.07 ounces. I think what was so interesting to me about using this toner is that when I got into reading other people's reviews, a lot of people with more oily skin kind of stop here which is something that's hard for me to imagine because I do have more dry skin. And also in terms of toners, it's a much more viscous toner than I was used to. It's not watery at all, certainly one where you don't need to use a cotton pad. This has a lot of similarities to the Ceramide and Cream, except obviously in a much lighter texture. So I guess it's up to you if you want to try to combine the two, which is what I did. This does contain alcohol pretty high in the ingredients list, which I'm still to this day iffy about. But it did feel very hydrating and I very much like the texture of it. I very much like toners that have, you know, a no cotton pad necessary approach. So again, based on my limited experience with this, I would actually say I think it's a pretty nice balancing toner, which I think is why oily skin people like it. Because again, if you have oily skin, sometimes you might think, oh, it's better for me to not use any moisturizing products, but that's really not true. That can actually exacerbate oily skin. So if you're bringing in a lot of hydrating ingredients in a very light texture, it actually may balance out your skin. And then last in my Ceramidin collection, I have the facial mask. I had two of these that I was able to get two uses out of. In case I've never said it before, if a mask is very, very soaked, in serum, I will often put it back into the package, put it in my fridge so the bacteria doesn't grow too rapidly, and then use it pretty much the next day. I feel like that might be kind of controversial to admit to doing, but face masks are expensive. These are $6 each. If I can use it twice, that makes it $3 each. And truth be told, bacteria is kind of all over, so I don't get too hung up on it. I just make sure my skin is clean when I apply it, my hands are clean when I'm touching it, all of those preventive measures. Anyway, as far as a review of this, I loved this sheet mask. Now, I've been really into sheet masks lately, so that should be no surprise. This has four different types of hyaluronic acid, so it's obviously going to be an instant plumping type of mask, and it really was for me. This is one of those masks where if you really want to see the impact immediately, this is a good option. You see it. This too does have some of those potential irritants, so approach with caution if you have sensitive skin. But oddly enough, while I saw my skin breaking out with the cream, I didn't with this. I can't make sense of it. I can't. And yet I saw other people in the review saying the same thing, saying whatever's in here, can you bottle it up and sell it as a moisturizer, please? Makes no sense. I don't get it at all. I, I, don't, I don't get it. But it is really, really, really a nice sheet mask. I will definitely be buying more of these. And let's talk about this while we're here. This is the Rubber Mask Clear Skin Lover. I got this during one of the Sephora sales. I think Dr. Jart must be just really good at masks. This mask is quite an experience. It comes with this ampoule here, which is a very concentrated solution of basically serum. You apply this all over your face, and then you apply the rubber mask itself, which looks quite interesting. I really should have saved a picture of it, but I think they're, they're all over the internet if you want to see. Now you leave the whole thing on for 30 to 40 minutes. I got three uses out of this. Yes, three. I didn't use the rubber mask twice because it does rip. The rubber mask is really fragile, but the ampoule had so much product in it, I was like, I'm not just gonna apply this once and waste tremendously large amounts of solution on me when you can only absorb so much. This is what I started using when I started breaking out, and wow, did this clear the breakouts extremely fast. Now they say that the magic of this particular mask, the clear skin mask, is a combination of seaweed and algae, but I think it's a lot the tea tree oil. Now, tea tree oil is always well, also controversial. 
I think that anytime you talk about essential oils and skincare, there's always going to be a certain amount of people who've had a very good experience with them and a certain amount who've had a very bad experience with them. And it's just a lot of figuring out what works for you. Thankfully, I've been able to use tea tree pretty successfully. Just watch your concentration because I do actually buy the Body Shop tea tree oil and I've, I've overdone even that. Even that 10% solution you need to mix into something else. And it seems to me that Dr. Jart did nail the concentration of tea tree in this, even though I don't know exactly what it is. Really, really effective mask. I love this. I'd honestly have to say I liked this even more than the Ceramide in Mask, just because when you do have a breakout, you want it gone. You, you want it gone more than you want your skin to be smooth. You don't want to see acne on your face, right? So I really, really liked this. And I'm just gonna talk about this guy real quickly. This is the Peptide In Radiant Serum. It is $48 for 1.35 ounces. I feel pretty neutral on it, but you know, I didn't try a lot of this. This, what's interesting to me about this serum is that it's a very watery texture. That's not tremendously uncommon. I've noticed in a lot of Korean serums, but I, I had to double check and triple check how to use this because yes, this actually does go after the toner, even though the toner is thicker, which is kind of in contrast to everything we learn about skincare and application, thinnest to thickest, right? Uh, this too contains a pretty high concentration of alcohol, which as always, as always, is a mixed bag. And then also peach extract. Now they say that revitalizes the complexion for instant radiance. Obviously, as these things go, there's not a whole lot of research into exactly what putting peach onto your skin does, but it does have eight peptides in it. And that is documented. That will have benefits, but not instantly. So, I don't know. I can tell you that I don't feel like I'm going to buy the full size of this, but I didn't really hate it either. If any of you guys have tried this for a longer period of time, I know this went out through Influencer. Please comment. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Just so you know, I have some big trials coming up of brands that you have asked me to do for a very long time and I'm extremely excited about. So do make sure that you subscribe for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.